Hey there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly just show off how to get the randomizer for Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time working. This will also work with other games that use the Blizzhawk software in order to run their games. <clears throat> so this is also assuming that you have generated the games. If you have not yet done so, I just have these two files just for proof of concept to show that, hey, this does work well online. So you're going to need to go into your file system to find where the the, uh, the uh, YAML files go to, usually under players. You just put it right there. Select the option to generate inside of the Archipelago Launcher. I run this fancy code here. Does all this other stuff. And then if you go inside to the output, boom, there it is. The one, this is the one that was just made. So there you go. What you're going to do is you're going to use this file. I'm going to bring this to the background real quick to uh, host a pre-generated game. Upload files. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm going to ask, it's going to give you the seed info. You can download the spoilers or where it tells you everything is. Create a new room. So you have, so I have Sonic Adventure 2 and then Ocarina of Time. Now for the Ocarina of Time, what you're going to do is you're going to want to download this uh, APZ5 file. Downloaded. If you double click on it and you have the Archipelago launcher installed, it'll ask then for, whoop, it'll launch the game, but it'll then ask for you to connect with the client. So the client in this case is going to be 53955. Hit connect. And then it's saying away connection to MU Hawk. This is a good sign. This is what we want to see. Because what we have to do is now go back into the files. And I shortcutted it so that way I could find it easier. It's under just our program data, archipelago, data, Lua. And then select the one for Ocarina of Time. All you need to do is drag and drop it into there. It'll then load up this Luna console. Once it shows as connected here, you'll be then able to get into the game and start playing it. I'm just going to speed run all the way over to with uh, our our boy. And what this and the way we can prove that hey this is working correctly is with the archipelago console here. You'll be able to see that um that hey notice player test case has joined in. Test case is what I just named the Zelda because I'm not creative at all. Now if we run all the way to this little house with the treasure chest. I'll be able to open up one. I'm a fool. Okay, apparently I'm a fool. I'm a fool again. Am I a fool for three times? There you go. There's an archipelago item. And we can see here that uh, it's tracking what we got. So I sent a cutscene trap to Steve. The Sonic one. I also sent a tiny trap and I sent a chow coin. Hey, you know what? Like, while we're here, might as well just check to see if the fourth item is good. Look at that. And there you go. Ooh. There you go. Test case sent mirror shield to. There you go. Awesome. With that, all good. We have come. Confirmed everything's working. Everything is working. You can all see right in here that everything is logged. You are all good to go. I don't know why I sang it like that. But yeah, if you run into any problems or have any questions, let me know. Bye.